Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a different video. I will be talking about my eczema. Now I've had it all my life, but recently I had a really really bad flare-up. I was freaking out a little bit last week because my eczema, which is usually on my, like this, this part of my neck, a little bit of my wrist, sometimes on my upper lip, it was spreading and it went to my sides of my face, like a little bit on my forehead and my, my whole neck all the way around and it went down to like my collarbone. And I went to the dermatologist on February 2nd. It is now February 4th. She actually told me that what it looked like was an allergy eczema because it was so red and the way that it looked and I guess where it was, was allergy eczema instead of like just the regular eczema that I had. I don't know what I was allergic to that made this happen, but she definitely said that I need to get tested for allergies, which I definitely agreed on. I will be going on an oral steroid medicine to help with the inflammation and to be put on a lower potency steroid cream to help because it was inflamed to the point where I definitely needed steroids to help calm it down. And here's a picture of what it looked like when my skin was super bad at the dermatologist. Even the nurse was like, you poor thing. I'm like, yeah, it was very itchy, very red. It's like one night, it was so hard to sleep. It was burning. It felt like there was like a cloud hovering around it, a cloud of heat and like burning itchiness. And it was so hard to sleep. I had to put like a wet small towel around my neck to make it feel better. But I got a blood tested for my allergies, so I'll get the results soon. And I'll be going back in two weeks for a checkup. The dermatologist actually said they're gonna have allergy patch tests for me to do, which I'm very excited about because I feel like I should have done that way sooner. I just wanted to share my journey and stuff. Um, because I looked it up and there weren't too many people talking about like allergy eczema. So I wanted to share mine. You guys are not alone. And yeah, so now it's gotten a little bit better. As you can see, I, um, maybe the lighting's not good so you can tell, but definitely not as red, but now it kind of looks like the scars that of eczema. Can you see that? This arm's worse. Yeah, but slowly healing, which is great. I. I'm like so shocked with the results of using steroid cream after just a few days. It is looking way, way better. With someone who's had eczema like all their life, I know how hard it is mentally for you guys, so know you're not alone and you guys are beautiful. And I whew, have been struggling with the mental side of eczema with my flare up recently, but it's getting better, so I feel better, but I'm just gonna do as much as I can to prevent it from getting worse from now on. Well, I will keep you guys updated with my results in the next doctor's visit. See you then. Hey guys, it's February 12th. I haven't really been vlogging about my skin updates, but I have been taking pictures like periodically. So my skin is definitely a lot better. As you can see, it's not red. There's no inflammation anymore and you can't really see the patches as much. A little bit on my arm, you can see that it's a little bit more dry. So I have to keep that moisturized every day. But other than that, I feel great. It's really nice to have your skin back to normal, which I'm very, very happy about. I still have my appointment on Tuesday for the patch allergy test. Apparently there's a bunch of patches that they tape onto your back and then you can't shower for two days. So I'll be going back Thursday and I'll, and I'll see the results. I've seen some videos on YouTube about like how itchy it can be and how uncomfortable it is when you're trying to sleep. Hopefully it won't have that many issues with that. Hello, it's February 16th and it's dermatologist appointment time. So I'm gonna go get my allergy test today. I'm kinda nervous about it because I feel like I'm gonna be super itchy, but we'll see how it goes. I'm not sure if I'll be able to take a picture of my back or I don't even know if I will be able to vlog if they'll let me, but hopefully they do. I will definitely ask. I'm so excited. I can't wait to tell you guys all about the process and everything and what I learned. Now I'm back home now and I'm gonna talk to you guys about my blood results. So apparently I'm allergic to dust mites, some types of grass and cat dander and dog dander, which I knew I was allergic to cats, but I didn't really know I was allergic to dogs, which would explain sometimes getting hives from touching dogs. But 
it's fine. I just thought it was something else. On this report, it tells you the levels that it is. So dog dander is 1.61, which on here it is a moderate level. And my cat dander is 1.18, which I mean, it's still moderate, but dog I'm more allergic to than any anything else in the report. So that's interesting. And I thought I was allergic to seafood, but I'm not. So that's good. So let's talk about the process of what they did for my patch test. Basically, they got all the patches ready. They marked on the sides and the corners and one in the middle area where it was because if it were to move, if I were to get an allergic reaction, then it would show where it was in the beginning. Good morning! It is Thursday and I'm at the dermatologist right now. My back has been a little bit itchy, the top left part and the bottom right. So I really want to see results, like I want to see if I'm allergic to something because that'd be good news to know what I'm allergic to. Also, there has been a problem with one of them, I think, where the, the side has kind of come off so it's not really sticky anymore. So hopefully that doesn't affect the results, but we shall see. poster in the back looks like it's photobombing but oh my god the top left definitely I'm allergic to something um, bottom right it's like black which is kind of weird um, oh my god whatever this thing is top left it's definitely a rash or something so I'm excited to find out what it is hello so it's actually February 23rd I did not talk about what I'm allergic to because I was busy. Here are the results. I'm allergic to nickel. I had the worst reaction to that one. Other things are fragrance mix, balsam of Peru, cobalt, dichloride, gold sodium thiosulfate, and bacitracin. So I wrote down what these things are in. So basically gold, I can't use um, fake gold. I can't wear it. I will have a allergic reaction to it. A mild one though. Cobalt and nickel too, they kind of go hand in hand. So jewelry, it's on tools, like some hair dyes, buckles, buttons, zippers, utensils, etc. So nickel was the thing that I got the worst reaction to, which is the top left one that I did mention. Everything else is like mild, but the reason why I'm coming into the dermatologist today Tuesday, a few days after, uh, is because allergic reactions can actually get worse, like after time. So I'm back so they can check my back, and it is true. Two other things, I don't know what they are, have gotten to the same point of the nickel one on the top left. So interesting to see what that is. I feel like it's um, like cobalt and the gold just because the nickel, and it kind of makes sense. Like some of the jewelry that I wear gives me a reaction, and for some reason, I didn't like correlate those together because I thought it was something else. So I just got back from the appointment and really interesting news. Fragrance, the fragrance mix has gotten pretty bad and obviously the nickel one is the worst one, but she mentioned that I had like blisters on my back. She told me 10 days to use the steroid cream on whatever parts have been flaring or whatever, my eczema, my back, to try and get things back to normal because right now it still has a reaction to it. So my immune system is obviously still reacting, so I gotta get rid of those parts. She gave me a lot of information about what to do with my nickel, allergy, my fragrance. She didn't give me a gold one because that's self explanatory. But nickel's in everything. I mean, like equipment, she said that. If I'm using pots and pans, if it gets scratched, if I consume that, then I could also have an effect. Also, I didn't know fragrance mix was in a bunch of stuff. On here, it talks about how there's like a bunch of nicknames for it. It doesn't actually say fragrance. It can be in, you know, cinnamon cloves, citronella candles, lipsticks, lip balms. I feel kind of overwhelmed right now. One thing she did tell me is to get a reveal and conceal nickel spot test. Here, let me show you better. Reveal and conceal nickel spot test. Basically, you put on any surface that you want to test to see if it has nickel in it and it will change to a different color. 
And so once that happens, she said that there's something that you can actually put on it to conceal it and make sure that it's safe for me to touch. I'm gonna get this on Amazon. I'm gonna test all the stuff I come in contact with that might have nickel in it and use the steroid cream they gave me and see if my eczema clears up a little bit better. I still don't know what the cause was for the allergy eczema that I had that like really was really bad, but hopefully after all this, it'll be great. Let me know if you have a nickel allergy too because I would love to know like what you guys did for it and how it affected you in your life. I'm gonna end this eczema allergy test vlog here. I hope you enjoyed learning about my journey. I really enjoyed um, sharing it with you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys.